I'm Kevin Shaw, and you're watching Long Haul. introduced for 2018, sea ST3 platform was revolutionary, especially when it came to ergonomics and of course stability. Now, why was stability such a big deal? Now we know with the 2019 sea Fish Pro 155. The Fish Pro takes everything we learned from last year's introduction as far as stability, a large footwell so you can walk around, a large swim platform in the back, and just makes it even better. Now for the Fish Pro, Sea-Doo made a series of modifications and it added some additions that really emphasize and magnify some of the talents of this new top deck. At first glance, a lot of the details that sea put into the Fish Pro 155 might not come and strike you in the face, but they really are game changers as far as introducing a watercraft that is completely and totally equipped to have a full day out on the water. At first blush, many might not recognize some of the details that sea poured into the new Fish Pro 155, but we're gonna walk you through them all. Aesthetically, there's some key changes to the Fish Pro that you don't see on the other ST3 platforms, obviously, and most prominently is the hull extension. This new platform doesn't only add nearly a foot and a half of length to the deck, but it also extends the running surface of the hull. This contributes to the Fish Pro's running surface, giving the watercraft a little bit more stability, a little bit better attitude when going through rough seas like we are today. This extended running surface contributes to the Fish Pro's ability to track better through rough and open seas. Today we're out in three to four foot rough seas that otherwise would be a pretty brutal ride. But for the Fish Pro, it tracks rather naturally. That is something that everyone could really enjoy. This hull and deck extension not only improves the Fish Pro's ability to track through rough seas, but it also comes with a second set of link accessory attachment points. This allows you to bring a second cooler. You would think, hey, with 51 liters or 13 and a half gallons of cooler right here, why would I need more? Well, if you're gonna pack this with ice and put your bait in there, you might not want to put your sandwich or your drinks in there too. So that second set of attachment points, whether you bring a cooler, you bring some extra gas, what have you, it comes in real handy. So what about gas? Well, that's the second thing, is that the Fish Pro is the only sea to come with its new 18 and a half gallon fuel cell. This, of course, for a lot of people, is long overdue. Based off of the standard ST3 platform with the 155 horsepower Rotax motor, the Fish Pro has a lot of the same features that you notice on a lot of the other ST3 machines, such as the large centralized storage compartment, the waterproof phone case, and the small glove box here. Because of the removable back seat, we were curious how mobility would be without it on. We found that it worked either way, but that without the back seat, we could swing our legs around from one side to the other as we face backwards. Other noticeable changes made to the Fish Pro include a flat bench seat that allows you to slide back and forth, allows you to access the 13 and a half gallon cooler back here, the adjustable rod holders, as well as just move around the cabin a little bit easier. 
and of course there's also the angled foot wedges that are hard mounted onto the gunners. These foot wedges add a little bit more comfort while sitting side saddle when you have your feet propped up against the gunnel. Although not all fish pros come equipped, as ours does, with the BRP Premium Sound and with the ErgoLock padded knee pads, we found that these two additions add even more comfort and accessibility to the watercraft, just making our time out on the water a little more enjoyable. So at least if the fish aren't biting, we can listen to our favorite music that's communicated through Bluetooth to our smartphone. When it came to designing the cooler for the Fish Pro, Sea-Doo put in a lot of time and consideration for what exactly the watercraft fisherman is going to want. First and foremost, the Fish Pro cooler holds an impressive 13 and a half gallons of storage. Surrounding the outside of the cooler is a variety of mounting points, allowing you to attach rod holders in a variety of positions. Right now our current setup has two rod holders pointed out so that we can troll just here around four miles an hour. Additionally, the top of the cooler has a nice workstation with a padded surface so that you can prepare bait while you're out on the water. On the front of the cooler, there's a rubberized cargo mat that you can store a variety of tools, a tackle box, or whatever you need. While all ST3 platform watercraft receive SeaDoo's new LCD all digital dash display, there's some key features that are embedded into the programming of the Fish Pro that help it stand out. Most importantly, of course, is the new trolling feature. Similar to a no wake mode or a slow speed mode, you simply toggle the button here on the left and you have a series of settings that allow you to bump up half a mile an hour up to five miles an hour and then one mile an hour all the way up to nine miles an hour. Right now, we're idling at five miles an hour without having to touch the handlebars. This allows us to troll freely and keep our hands free as we move around the water. A second important feature, of course, is Sea-Doo's temperature gauge that allows you to track the temperature of the water so that as you're fishing, you can stay in that right, nice spot. Now, of course, one of the most exciting features on the Fish Pro is the Garmin Fish Finder. This, hardwired to the battery and attached to a transponder on the bottom, allows you to have amazing data come through so that you can see the sea floor, you can see temperature, you can map your course, you can do more features and more options than we've had time to even explore on this machine. We, of course, will list as many features as we can in the full-length article that we've linked to at the bottom of this video description. The fact that sea made a dedicated watercraft solely for fishing is a testament to the brand's desire to reach out to the largest demographics possible. sea of course, is no stranger to developing watercraft for specific niche audiences. The Wake and the Wake Pro have been around for almost a decade. For fishing enthusiasts, it makes perfect sense for Sea-Doo to have a watercraft equipped like this. In fact, people have been doing it for decades now. So what's our impression of the Fish Pro? Obviously, there couldn't have been a better application than Sea-Doo's ST3 platform. The massive foot wells, the angled wedges on the gunnels, and of course the giant swim platform in the back make accessibility and simply maneuverability around the watercraft a cinch. In still water, this craft is almost as flat as a pontoon. Because of how deep the foot wells are and how easy it is for water to come in when we're idling through rough seas like we are today, we would like to see future Fish Pro models maybe feature a drain in the foot well just so that our toes aren't soaking in the salt water. So Other than that, we're immensely impressed with the Fish Pro. We think it's going to appeal to a large audience who maybe don't want to paddle out in a kayak or would like something more affordable than a $35,000 bass boat. Priced at just under $15,000, there's no better equipped fishing boat that we can see on the market. 
in addition to footwell drains, we would like to see something that we came equipped with today, and that was a locking mechanism or carabiners to hold your rods in. So, to keep our rods from flying out while we were going through some rough water, we brought some rope and some carabiners to attach, that way we don't lose any of our equipment. For future packages through the accessory line, we'd love to see this become an available feature. I'm Kevin Shaw and you've been watching Long Haul. Make sure to check us out Monday through Friday at the Watercraft Journal at www.watercraftjournal.com. And again, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, maybe leave a comment, and of course share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes.